Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Electrical Forensics. And we're here to do some electrical forensics work on these dirty electricity producing security lights. And we're going to see what actually happens when you add a 47 and a half microfarad capacitor to the system, how that affects the current and the dirty electricity that they produce. And capacitors are commonly used in the field of dirty electricity to try and calm down the levels of dirty electricity. And we're going to use this stetterizer microsurge meter, which has become the standardized meter in the industry of for measuring dirty electricity. And currently we're reading 105 on the AC electrical system. And this measures in what's known as GS units. So we're going to switch on these two lights and we're going to see what actually happens. So the lights are on and you can see we're almost off the scale. So we have 1900 GS units, which is very, very high. Now, this is what the current looks like on the oscilloscope. So the voltage waveform is the red and the yellow waveform is the current. So that's our current. I'm um, going to put a function on known as the FFT and we're going to have a little look at what's going on on here. So you can see all the harmonics down on the left hand side and the big spike is the 60 hertz fundamental frequency. And you see we've got a bunch of other harmonic spikes in there. So we're going to go up the scale a little bit and we're going to see what we're finding and right now we're on 500 hertz per division. So I'm going to take it up to two and a half kilohertz. And you see there's a little spike right there. And let's continue on up. So we're at 10 kilohertz per division right now and that's 10 kilohertz per division in the horizontal direction. And there's a spike right around there that you can see popping up from time to time. So that's the dirty electricity frequencies that we're looking at. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug in our 47 and a half microfarad capacitor. Okay, so our capacitor is now in. And you can see that our spike disappeared. That was right around here. And we've got a new spike right around here. So that's what I'm finding with capacitors. And our lights have just switched off, so I'm going to switch them back on again. So our lights are back on, capacitor is plugged in. And you can see the effect that plugging the capacitor has had on this meter. So we're actually now below what the manufacturer states is what you want. So the manufacturer says anything above 50 is a problem. So we're now down at 40, which the manufacturer would say is acceptable. So let's see what's going on in the frequencies on the oscilloscope. So we definitely have something right here. Um, we're on 10 kilohertz per division. So let's go down and have a little look at that. Okay, so we're now on two and a half kilohertz per division. And you see that little spike right there. And let's go down a little bit more. And you see that we have a much higher level of the lower harmonics with the capacitor in the circuit. So previously we only had harmonics around here, but we now have all these. So that's what capacitors are doing to the frequency of this circuit. Now what I'm going to do is the lights have just switched off. So I'm going to switch them back on again. So the lights are now back on. And I'm going to turn off the FFT. I'm going to take a little look at the current. So I'm kind of interested to know where all these lower frequency harmonic spikes are coming from. Um, we can see that on the waveform. So you can see we're on 500 hertz per division in the horizontal direction right now. 
So FFT is going off. And that's what our current waveform looks like. So we have a very, very different current waveform. And that's what I've noticed when you put these capacitors on circuits, is you get a very distinctly different current waveform going down that circuit. And it seems to increase the low order harmonics on the system. And that's my findings with troubleshooting these two dirty electricity lights and using a capacitor to try and offset that dirty electricity. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.